Okay, here's another little patch of corn, just like that corn that we showed you that was way down at the end of that road, uh, the corn that we had with the water bar. Um, this one is just right next to our house. We kind of used uh, this little section of roof that we don't have a gutter on uh, to divert all the this monsoon rainwater down here. As you can see, it kind of collects in this berm. Uh, I had this hay bale here because uh, we were getting a little wind when this corn was, you know, 6 to 12 inches high just to kind of stop the wind a little bit. We got a little blue barrel right over here and that's been collecting this uh, water that's coming off this uh, this little corner here um, and it's actually fills up pretty quick we get we got uh, quite a bit of rain here recently I've got a little spigot on the bottom of it and I'll show you if we can see here so to water this corn in between the rains I can either bucket it from the top of the bucket or just uh, just undo it like that, and I just flood this little basin. Um, I probably should have put a little spigot, it'd be easier to turn off, but this has been fine. If I can get that back on there. And it's worked pretty well. I'll show you, this corn isn't quite as tall as the one that we had at the, the base of the road, but it's it's up there as well, at least for this native stuff. and. And just, just remember, this is stuff that we haven't been watering with any water except for the rainwater. Um, except for when we started it, we used a little bit. But as you can see, I'm six foot. Um, some of these tops are a little taller than me. So this certainly isn't the, the biggest corn in the world. But um, considering we're growing it in the desert with just rainwater, uh, I think that's pretty darn good. So uh, it's supposed to be a six-week corn. I think we're at about seven and a half or eight weeks now. And we're going to harvest it. Here in the next day or two so it's been a little longer than we thought but overall we've been pretty impressed